include everything. Hey guys, I wanted to, before you get started in this video here, showcasing how to build the Wikipedia API, I'm going back to show how I actually found the Wikipedia API URL and how I kind of um, got it to work because that seems to be the hardest thing. I've got quite a few requests uh, basically explaining the logic and how I went about this search. So we'll go ahead and call this part zero and dive into it. So the first thing I did when I started this project was I actually just Googled Wikipedia API and I clicked on this first link right here, which is this page. And as I kind of scrolled through here, I read the documentation. A lot of this is a combination of reading through the documentation and just taking the time. There's really no magic effect to it. Um, it's just a lot of deep diving into it. And so I, I read this page more or less and I saw, okay, cool. This is the English version. So I noticed that there's an English version and a um, this was basically the first uh, part of it. I was like, okay, uh, for myself, I want to use the English version. And then um, I kept on scrolling and scrolling. And eventually, I saw this tiny little link. This is API help. This little, little link that is absolutely hidden. But this is the hidden gem. And I pulled this up right here. So this Wikipedia API help is really, really good. And from... Um, I don't say really good, but it, it's you, it's what I what I did that helped me helped me out tremendously. Um, so after that, I kind of started uh, from my from what I saw here. I kind of found out that action is required uh, for the API because you're performing an action, and we have all these actions that you need to do. And I I went through a couple here that I thought might be it. Query was one of them. Open search was what it ended up being. And then I deep dived into this a little bit more. A lot of this, and we're going over this in a few minutes, but um, at this point I've spent about a half an hour diving through the documentation and Googling things. And um, so I, I bring up the open search API and this is where I kind of see what it is that I need to do. I read a little bit about it. So um, what it does is it searches. Um, that's basically it. And you can dive into more documentation here as well. But when I got, once I got to this page, I looked at these parameters, which you'll be building your string with, right? And then this is where it all started clicking. I thought I was maybe on the right path. And you'll see right here, let's go ahead and bring up our page real quick. And the URL, right? So you see right here, we have our English API. This is what I was talking about, the first link. And then we need to start adding an action. The way that you would do this with their APIs, you tell, it's basically a query string and you say action. And if you're not used to query strings, what it basically means is a question mark, then a word that you set like a variable, basically. In this case, it's action. So in the Wikipedia API, you always have to set the action. In our case, it was the open search, uh, this right here. So. Uh, this will allow us to do a search. So you see our actions open search and then our parameter We have a couple here. So search is the string that we're looking. This is required. It says right here So again, it's not like super standing out. You just have to deep dive into the documentation But this is required, but there's other things that we could do as well. For instance, we could limit this uh, By default, it's 10 if we wanted more than that as you'll see we have search is equal to search term that's our search term, the string we were talking about. And then our format, this is the string we're passing in uh, that we'll do in the later parts of the video. And then the format is equal to JSON. What that means is your data can come back in various formats. In our case, we have JSON, JSON FM, XML, XMLF. We could actually leave this out now that I'm looking at it. It's by default JSON. You don't need to define it. We do, but um, now that I look at this, I probably didn't see that it was by default JSON. Now, where does this callback question mark come into? So this gets a little more complicated and this ended up taking me, the whole URL creation process took me about two to three hours. Once I uh, of dive into the documentation, it took me about an hour and a half to get to here. This at callback took me about another hour and a half. Now what's going on is called a cross origin error. And what it basically means is that our, um, so if we were to take this out, and we'll go ahead and showcase this real quick so it makes sense. Let's go ahead and save this. And then we'll do a search that says test, submit, and we'll get a little error here that says error. Um, the reason for that is we're getting a cores error, what's called a cores error. And what's basically happening is that the, um, the, the API is set up so that if the 
call if the the endpoint the url that we're passing in when we do our git call isn't coming from wikipedia or a certain location it it doesn't trust it and thus doesn't send it back unless you do a callback so what's basically happening is that it's called a wrapper function but without going into too many details the callback is all we're doing is saying callback where basically we're sending our initial request Wikipedia saying, look, we don't know who you are. Tell us who you are. So it sends back their request and it requests more data, at which point you send back a second request or callback. You, you can think of it like that. And it says, okay, thanks for telling us who you are. Here is your data. And that's how I went about solving the URL open search. A lot of it's deep dive into documentation. A lot of it's just like I I've, did a search. Came to the API, took a piece from up here, found this little help. Help brought me to the action, which is um, pretty much required. Uh, by default, it's help. So you can see there's a lot of parameters here. So a lot of it's just going over the documentation and going from, from there. I did a little bit more in here. Uh, once I kind of found out why it was failing when I thought it, I did a little bit of research and I came across some Stack Overflow help. And that's how I ended up getting the URL. So I hope you guys found this helpful and a little bit of how I learned to work with the Wikipedia API. This is one of the more requested videos. I try to give you guys what you want. We're going to go ahead and call this part zero. But as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And support a brother on Patreon.com slash CodingTutorials360. And as always, guys, look forward to our weekly coding interviews on Friday mornings. Behind the code. Lots of good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you're interested in a coding boot camp, why don't you check them out where they include housing alongside their tuition so you can get up, go, and immerse yourself in the environment. If you want to support me, go over to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 so we can put out more content. Thanks for watching.